All right, good afternoon, everyone, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome all of you to the ninth annual United Nations Private Sector Forum. Um, our, our job over lunch today, and we do have a job. You thought this was just a free meal, but it's not. Our job today is to try and dig down to come to a better understanding of unlocking prosperity to finance the global goal goals, and I know this is something many of you in this room have been working on you. In fact, many of you were actually architects and key influencers of the 2030 agenda. That's a, a bold global roadmap for a better future. Um, this included the Paris Climate Agreement, the Sustainable Development Goals, and what we are calling the Global Goals, or SDGs, also the Addis Ababa Action Agenda on Financing. Uh, two years ago, progress has been made since when we first started this two years ago, but there is risk that the global goals will fall short of adequate financing, and that's what we're going to be talking about here today. Early estimates show that it will take somewhere between five to seven trillion dollars of annual public and private investment globally across a wide range of sectors to try and achieve the global goals. How do corporations and governments respond to the so-called billions to trillions challenge and mobilize assets across all sectors to try and finance the 2030 agenda? I know it's a daunting challenge, but we are in a room of incredibly impressive global leaders and decision makers from government, from business, finance, the United Nations, and from civil society. Our conversation today is going to focus on this. It will be all about solutions and opportunities, and we're really going to be relying on all of you at your tables to help us come up with some of these solutions. Now, our, our program today is being live streamed, and we're also inviting all of you to try and help amplify our conversations online via both Twitter and Facebook. You can use the hashtags, hashtag UNPSF, or hashtag UNGA. So go ahead and tweet away. This is not private conversation. Tweet away, get things moving today. Uh, we do have a very full program planned. You all have lunch right in front of you. But to kick off this program, it is my pleasure to welcome Ms. Liga, Ms. Lisa Kingo, who is the Executive Director of the United Nations Global Compact. Please welcome her. Thank you, Becky. Um, excellences, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the United Nations and to our annual private sector forum. We have some of the planet's greatest problem solvers in the room today, a remarkable and diverse group of governments, investors, chief executives, UN and civil society leaders. This is a very good thing because our task this afternoon is absolutely major. We are here to unlock global prosperity by fa financing the 2030 agenda. Mobilizing public and private finance will be essential if we are to achieve the sustainable development goals. We will need mainstream finance, including public and corporate uh, pension funds, investment managers, banks and insurers, to help push the boundaries of financial innovation, to unlock and direct investments towards the global goals. It's an urgent mission and no single individual or sector can handle it alone. This is exactly the spirit for this forum. For nine years, we have been bringing leaders across sectors together at the United Nations to build partnerships and work together in bold new ways on issues we all care about. The organizers of this event are, in fact, building an alliance to coordinate approaches around the SDGs on finance. This is one way that the UN can serve as a platform for action and impact. So on behalf of the UN Global Compact and our organizing partners, I want to thank all of you today for joining us in that spirit of collaboration.